Hi, I'm Todd Whitting with the Field Turf Academy. The next drill, fielding drill in our series is going to be our one-handed fungo drill. One common mistake I see a lot of young fielders make is they're taught to field everything with two hands. Our rule of thumb whenever we, use, whenever we catch a baseball is anything inside the midline of our body is going to be a two-handed play. Anything outside of our body is going to be a one-handed play. We want to keep in mind that we always want to take our chest to the baseball. So if the ball is thrown to our left, we're going to catch it and take our chest to it as opposed to catching it and pulling it. When we go to the backhand side, we always catch it and take our chest to it instead of catching it and pulling it to us. This is going to create weight on our heels instead of staying up on our toes in an athletic position. This is also the case for ground balls as well. Anytime we field a ground ball that's right in the midline of our body, we do want to execute that with two hands. However, if it's to our glove side, we want it outside of our knee, that's a one-handed play. And obviously on the backhand side, this is a one-handed play as well. Also, anytime that we get some type of bad hop, we call that a bailout where we want to go forward and simply pick through the ball and be aggressive with it. <clears throat> the theory is we're a lot quicker with our glove with one hand than we are with two. So we want to learn to use the glove. We want to learn to use it with one hand. And this drill that I'm going to show you is going to show us how to do that. Okay, for the one-handed fungo drill, I'm going to set Frank up. He's got a ball out there to show him where his starting point is. He's got a ball just off the right side of his body, which is going to help us create that angle. He's also got a ball in his hand. I'm going to come back here on a knee. I'm going to, I'm going to execute the ground ball just inside the V-cut ball here. He's going to field it with one hand, and he's going to throw the ball in his other hand, working on using his glove, glove angle, so on and so forth. So I'll set up here on a knee. Frank's in a good ready position. I'll roll the ball. He goes around that one, down nice and low, and execute a throw to first base. If you notice, he's down low, his back is flat, and you can still hear that little popping sound in his glove that tells me that he caught that ball clean. Ready position, round the ball, off your left eye, and throw. Good. A couple of key teaching points here is we want to make sure that we start in a great ready position, we have a good quick first step, and then we keep that ball on our left eye side. We want to keep it to our left eye as we field it, two-step release, and throw. The one-handed fungo drill is a great drill for young fielders to learn glove placement, keeping the ball at the left eye, the picking action through the baseball, and to learn to take our chest through the ball and execute a great two-step release through our target.